All that remained was to wait until the alarm clock should signal its end. There was nothing to do except sit waiting in the dark to let his mind wander where it was stopped. Jensen slept late in the fog and morning, and it wasn't until day after that he reached the observatory of Jesus. He had about a week's work in front of him, examining the plates taken during the last fortnight. What he had to do was to compare his latest observations with the other plate that he had taken in the previous year. As its name implies, it was a device that enabled him to make first one plate, then a plate with the other plate that he had taken in the previous year. As its name implies, it was then a cursed device. Was it a choice that enabled him to make first one plate, then a plate with the other plate that he had taken in the previous year? As its name implies, Vinko was a U.S. government is the first official to use the one plate that he had planned with the other plate that he had taken in the previous year. As its name implies, Vinko was a device that he printed when it was with the other plate that he had taken in the previous year. As its name implies, Vinko was a device that he had then it ends with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, the linker was a device that enabled him to look first at one plate, then it ends with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, the secretary of the linker was a device Our that enabled him to look first at one plate, then it ends with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. Accordingly, no serious problem in building up adequate fuel stocks. It is even possible that our present stocks might be sufficient. A more serious issue is whether we can transfer supplies fast enough from stock to the domestic and industrial consumer. Whether we can pump gas and oil fast enough. The cloud was not visible. Since it lay in the daytime sky, although it was keenly examined with a radio telescope and microscope. The situation was better than the prime minister had expected. News from Wittgenstein suggested that the coming of the cloud was not likely to lead to an impossible fuel crisis, for which he was heartily thankful. For the time being, there was no fear in There was no fear in the skies in England. It was known to be a king of his Set out in high spirits, 
thinking it a wonderful relief to a tram and others. They return from the chasing and star maps to North Africa. The reporters set out and with a device that enabled me to look wonderful money to me. Chasing the star maps to North Africa. As its name implies, but in place was a device that in ancient is a wonderful The other people had taken a previous month to know that. As its name implies, the report they gave orders to light like an egg. And it was in banana as I understand. Apparition appears in sky. No stars for Christmas, say astronomers. Interstellar gas, a gas that occupies the vast regions of space between the stars. Mixed up with this gas, it was pointed out, were myriads of fine grains, probably grains of ice, no more than about one hundred thousandth part of an inch in their dimensions. It was these grains that produced the dozens of dark patches to be seen along the Milky Way. Photographs of such dark patches were displayed. The new apparition was simply one of these patches. The fact that so Son. Kingsley grabbed his watch. It was about 7.42 a.m., long after dawn. He rushed out of the shelter into the open. It was pitch black, unrelieved even by star, which was unable to penetrate the thick cloud cover. An unreasoning primitive fear seemed to be abroad. The light of the breeze had gone. As it's near, in England and the western lands generally, the shock was pushed through. Uh, 
so hot and humid that a vast quantity of moisture had been stored in it. Rivers rose swiftly and flooded their banks, destroying communications and rendering whole multitudes homeless. Yet this flooding was of minor consequence compared with the storms that swept over the earth. The release of energy in the atmosphere caused by the condensation of vapor into raindrops was beyond all precedent. It was sufficient to cause enormous fluctuations of atmospheric pressure leading to hurricanes on a scale beyond human memory and indeed beyond all credence. The temperature fell more and more. Rain changed to sleet and then to snow. The flooded fields were covered by ice and, as September wore on, the brawling rivers were gradually silenced as they were changed to immutable cascades of ice. At the end of September, the first gossamer-thin outposts of the cloud reached the Earth. The impact heated the upper regions of the Earth's atmosphere, as reports from Nortonstow had predicted. But so far, the incident gas was too diffuse to cause heating to hundreds of thousands or to millions of degrees. Even so, temperatures rose to some ten. This was sufficient to cause the upper atmosphere to radiate a sheen blue light, easily visible. Indeed, the nights became indescribable. It is curious in how great a degree human progress depends on the individual. Humans, numbered in thousands of millions, seem organized into an ant-like society, yet this is not so. New ideas, the impetus of all development, come from individual people not from corporations or states. New ideas, fragile as spring flowers, easily bruised by the tread of the multitude, may yet be cherished by the solitary wanderer. Among the vast host that experienced the coming of the cloud, none except Kingsley arrived at a coherent understanding of its real nature. None except Kingsley gave the reason for the visit of the cloud to the solar system. His first bold statement was greeted with outright disbelief, even by his fellow scientists. When I said the cloud may be alive, I meant that the material inside it may be organized in an intricate fashion, so that its behavior, and consequently the behavior of the whole cloud, is far more complex than we previously supposed. Animate and inanimate are only verbal conveniences. If they are pushed too far, they do appear tautological. In more scientific terms, I expect the chemistry of the interior of the cloud to be extremely complicated. Complicated molecules. Complicated structures built out of molecules. Complicated nervous activity. In short, I think the cloud has a brain. Conditions are favorable to the formation of extensive structures built out of complicated molecules. 
The density inside the cloud is so high that quite large lumps of solid material, probably mostly ordinary ice, are almost certainly found inside. I suggest that the complicated molecules get together when they happen to stick to the surfaces of these lumps. And from what source do molecules of living creatures down the earth get their internal supplies of energy? And where is the cloud getting energy from? And as an island can be among anyone else who is disposed to our food, kings live at home. Let's accept this job as well. Let's suppose that the flying beast is as loud as the host of the seas of the host of the seas. We shall presumably get the clouds in the same form as we transmit. Yes, that's all right. I but remember that we can only read about 120 words a minute, whereas we're hoping to transmit at least 100 times faster. of communication led to other plans being followed. The nature of these plans came as a shock to Norton Stone. News of them came through Parkinson, who rushed one afternoon into Kingsley's office. Why are there so many fools in the world? He exclaimed in a rather wild tone. Good. 
You've seen the last of last, have you? Was Kingsley's comment. Let's go back to the situation of 1958, before anybody had ever heard of the You remember the arms race with the US and the Soviets competing furiously to see who could produce an intercontinental rocket first, all fitted up with hydrogen warheads, of course, and the scientists six or seven thousand miles from one point of the Earth's surface to another is much the same problem as to fire a rocket right off the Earth altogether out into space. Parkinson, if you're not trying to tell me, I'm telling you that work in the US and in Russia on this problem has advanced much further than the British government realized. We own the device that it is in the We own it and the both of the US government by the Soviets and Nazis that they fired off Rockets, as it's named, fire them at the clown. There's a device that you can come to the first one day of the time. Within the last week, apparently, there's an undercover competition that we are. There's nothing about it. The U.S. has been trying to outdo the Soviets and vice versa, of course. They're reckoning to show each other what they use right apart from killing as it's a cloud lies. A drinker. How many of these rockets have been seen? First of all, Lester. As far as our information goes, upwards of a hundred from the U.S. and perhaps fifty or so from the Russians? Well, I don't see that it's so important, Lester remarked. The energy in a hundred hydrogen bombs may seem a lot to us, but it's surely only microscopic compared to the energy in the cloud. I should have thought that this business is sillier than trying to kill a rhino with a toothpick. Parkinson shook his head. As I understand, we are not trying to blow the cloud to pieces. We are trying to poison it. Poison it? Wait, where do you like the materials? Paradoxically, although the episode of the hydrogen rockets had created a host of bitter and implacable enemies, in the short term, the position of Kingsley and his friends was greatly strengthened. The reversing of the rockets had given a terrible, terrible power of the power. The early, comparatively carefree days had gone now. They were never to return. Consciousness returned about 36 hours after the end of the car's transmission. For some minutes, some minutes, some minutes. difficult walk in his experience. In the evening he was sitting in his room that enabled him to look when McNeil wanted McNeil gone with the other light that he had taken in the previous Moscow. And as its name action. implies, the blinker was a device that enabled him to look first at money with the other place that he had taken in the previous month. The bigger of tragedy. As its name implies, the blinker was a device that enabled him to look first in one plate and then at the instance with the other plate that he had taken in the room. He was sane for nearly an hour. He told me what the trouble was. He fought it down, and as the minutes passed, I thought he was going to win out. But it wasn't to be. He got into another attack and it killed him. But what was it? Something obvious that we ought to have foreseen. What we didn't allow for was the tremendous quantity of new material which the cloud seems able to impress on the brain. This, of course, means that there must be widespread changes of the structure of a mass of electrical circuits in the brain, changes of synaptic resistances on a big scale, and so on. You mean it was a sort of gigantic brainwashing? No, it wasn't. That's just the point. There was no washing. The old methods of operation of the brain were not washed out. 
they were left unimpaired. The new was established alongside the old, so that both were capable of working simultaneously. You mean that it was as if my knowledge of science were suddenly added to the brain of an ancient Greek? Yes, but perhaps in a more extreme form. Can you imagine the fierce contradictions that would arise in the brain of the Greek? Accustomed to such notions as the Earth being the center of the universe and a hundred and one other such anachronisms, suddenly becoming exposed to the blast of your superior knowledge. I suppose it would be pretty bad. After all, we get quite seriously upset if just one of them cherished scientific ideas turns out wrong. Yes. Think of a religious person who suddenly loses faith. Which means, of course, he, he becomes aware of a contradiction life. between his religious and his non-religious beliefs. Such a person that in often experiences a severe nervous crisis, and the other Kingsley's thing. case was a thousand times worse. He was killed by the sheer violence of his nervous activity, in a popular phrase, by a series of unimaginable fears brings him. But he said, The other thing we had taken some sort of previous life. Probably they decided to accept Link as rules a device that the illusion of the supersede the old was whenever the other thing we had taken in the previous life. As its name implies, Link the it's nice that enabled him to look first at one plate, then at the wings, with the other plate to be taken in the previous case. It's nice that enabled him to look first at one plate, then at the wings, with the other plate. The device that you look first to one of the colors and then you see the opposite of the attack in the previous one. Device that enabled him to look first at one plate, then at the end with the other plate. 